do you prefer the SQ6? This is ginormous. I had a lot of people asking me about the SQ1 versus the SQ6, so yeah, I'm gonna try them out today. Okay, I'm gonna grab both of those. Where did it on the Gotta go get batteries. Alright, I have this Lomography Instant Square and I put some. Oh shoot. So I have batteries from it. And this is my SQ6 that I do not have the battery lid from because I lost it somewhere. So. Yay. Okay. It is on. I'm gonna go out into the fridge and pick up some batteries. But before. Leave it like this. I gotta put some tape on it. <sighs> I got tape. This is ginormous. I know, but I got this like, I don't know, I think like eight years ago, a long, long time ago, and I have not finished using the tape. But yeah. I'm gonna tape it up. I don't have scissors, so. I found this thing. It's uh, for Instax. I think I'm gonna use it. It just snaps in half. Like this. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna make it <clears throat> cuter sometime in the future, but this is what I have for now. Uh, yeah. It's okay. I got it. Okay, I have a lid now. Okay, let's go take photos. Wait, I need film. Okay, let's go get film. Oh, I have two packs left. Alright. <sighs> a lot of people ask me why I leave my film in the refrigerator, and the reason being is because it prolongs the life of the film. Now, Fujifilm doesn't necessarily say, hey, you need to put your film in the refrigerator, but I figured I should just leave it in the refrigerator because it even says right here, store in a cool and dry condition, do not freeze. So yeah, I just leave all my film in the refrigerator. Aside from those over there, I don't know why I didn't put those in the refrigerator. Why didn't I put those in the refrigerator? Please tell me. Got this last year, I believe, when it was on sale. Uh, yeah. It's a zero over here, so please be zero. Please be zero. Please. If I can take it out. Oh, okay, good. There's nothing. Do, 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 do. First comparison, how do you turn this one on? You turn that on, you turn the SQ6 on like this, and for this guy, you twist it. So a little bit of an effort there, but it's totally fine. Take the testy photo. One, two, three. I did not realize that it says tangible photography on the back of these. No, oh, it is true, tangible photography. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna turn this one off. And then I'm... No! No, I took a photo of this <laughs> Okay, I don't wanna... Anyways, that is not a good idea. So I'm just gonna twist this and yeah, let's go. I need a little bit of a camera bag. Oh, I threw all those in the basement. Oops. Oh well, I'm just gonna carry these around. Ta-da! Okay, let's go.
really windy today guys okay I think it's so windy I think the flash turned off for the sq6 but it didn't turn off obviously for the sq1 uh, because the flash doesn't turn off automatically or does it turn off at all for the sq1 on the sq6 i put it on macro mode because there's an option for macro mode but there's no option for macro mode on this camera at all because it doesn't have any option guys I am done taking photos on both of the cameras the sq6 and the sq1 where are they where did I put them one minute I'll be right back okay I am back okay this is the sq1 and here's the sq6 we did a little comparison using both of these cameras and now we are back Whew. guys it's so windy today I just walked around um, with Winnie just for a little bit and now I have this really bad allergy. <laughs> my voice is so nasally. Okay, please ignore my nasally voice, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. I have really bad allergies. Oh my gosh, this is really bad. It doesn't look like it. I'm like, my snot is like going up my nostril. Okay, that's so much TMI, but Anyways, um, we're back now with the little comparison I did with both of these cameras. I keep on getting a ton of requests for these cameras, so I decided to do it, and um, I think it'll be really helpful for you guys. Let's look at the photos. As far as photo quality goes, both of these are pretty good in terms of sharpness and clarity and color. Uh, it sounds like a diamond. They are pretty similar. One thing though that I have to say is that I feel that the sharpness on the SQ6 is a bit sharper. It's just not as sharp as the SQ6. Um, so The photo of the flowers that I took. So this one was using the SQ6 and this one was using the SQ1. As you guys can see, the SQ1 is a little bit more overexposed and that is because of the flash and also the flowers that I was aiming on is totally overexposed and you cannot even see any of the details or the texture or anything like that. And that was because the flash was pointing right at it so it's totally like washed out. The flowers in the back though, you can see it really sharply because I guess it's just how this camera works. Like the things that are most close to it when you take a I guess a macro photo or whatever it's gonna be really blurry and then whatever's the furthest will be super sharp because the flash is not directly on the subject this q6 photo looks really good in terms of detail and it wasn't completely washed out although some of the flowers in the corner are pretty blurry but that's just because I wasn't completely like focused on those flowers. I was actually focused onto this flower right here, this bunch right here. Although there's not much detail on it, it does look more clear than the SQ1 because there was no flash. I think it's just a function that the SQ6 has when the flash just turns off automatically when you have it on macro mode because it knows that if the flash is on, then that means that the subject will be totally washed out because of the flash so it turns it off completely. I'd have to say though the SQ1 
photo just looks a little bit more I don't know sharp both of them I was tugging the toy but this one just a little bit more motion than this one so that could be why it's not completely like detailed so I really can't say like this is like I don't know each of you guys individually so I really don't know how to recommend you uh, like a camera personally but this, from my perspective, this is how I see it. This camera is perfect for anybody who just wants to be able to control more of their photo, being able to control light and dark, exposure, self-timer, and all that. This is the camera for you. There's all these sorts of functionalities on there. This is my go-to camera. It has been for years. It's ever since it's been out on the market. I've loved this camera. Just being able to control so much on a camera i feel like this is like all the functionalities that you will ever need on a camera so this has been my go-to camera for years this is the camera that i recommend to anybody who just want to be able to control more in your photo and if even if you don't want to there's an automatic function on here too so you don't have to worry about controlling any of these things but yeah it has been my most favorite camera for years and the reason being is because I just get to be so personable and personalize a lot of things on this. The SQ6 I feel is more like for people who are on the go. They just want to go out, take a photo, go home, go out to a party with friends or whatever. They don't want to think too much about functionalities. They just literally want to point and shoot. This is the camera for you if that is what you're up to and that's what you want to do. It's literally just a point and shoot camera. There's nothing hard about it. You just turn it on, point and shoot. That's all you have to do about this camera. You don't have to think too much about it. There's no functions that you have to ponder about and think, oh, how do I do this? How do I do that? No, just literally point and shoot. Function it has is selfie mode and on and off. It's an automatic camera, so there's really nothing that you can control on it. So yeah. That is all that is my two cents on these cameras and I really had a lot of fun taking photos with these like I normally do and I always am continuing to learn more about these cameras because I feel like it's just an art you just have to learn more about film photography and with instant photography especially it's always just a surprise so I'm always learning and I had a lot of fun taking photos with these guys and um for me, I really can't tell you which camera to buy, but for me personally, I just prefer the SQ6 over the SQ1 just because I have a lot of control over how- Okay, so my SD card ran out of memory. As I was saying though, I just prefer the SQ6 over the SQ1 because the SQ6 just has a lot more functions and I can control a lot more on how my photos look like but if you're the type of person who doesn't really care for functionalities and all that and you just want to point and shoot and if you're just giving this to a child i feel like this is a perfect camera for people who just don't really care about functionalities and stuff like that i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you guys did please do give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time adios one second i'm gonna show you guys dory dory is like crying by the door dory Hi, hi door, hi Tom. I really want to see everybody. This is Dory. Okay, hi guys. This is Dory. Dory wants to say hi. Hi. Yeah, she is gonna turn 11 weeks old. That is scary. I can't believe I've had her for like five weeks now, but yeah, she's a little big girl now. Um, she is a lot smaller than Winnie still, but she, she's getting there. She's getting so tall. I'm not ready for this. My little baby girl is so tall. She's so feisty though, and she's so energetic and hyper, And but when she's tired, she knows to, to walk into her kennel to go to sleep. So that is really good. Um, but yeah, this is Dory. She's not happy about something. I don't know what she's not happy about. Anyways. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Oh, yes, I forgot to include the photos that um, I accidentally took. So it was this one. Looks kind of like Scream. 
Okay, if I put those over my face, it legit looks like Scream, okay? I look like Scream. Or the animal that's on Mario? What is that even called? Yeah, it's like the little, the little ghost guy on Mario. And then, I have this photo that I had taken with the SQ1 using the, what is it, portrait slash self selfie mode. And yeah, it looks okay, but Dory actually bit it, so it's like indented in some areas. It doesn't look too bad, but yeah, you can see her beautiful eyes. <sighs> Anyways, I'm done. Adios!